everyone here today for our press conference on September 9th, 2015, and we are going to be talking about Ohio suicide prevention efforts. And I think all of you know that I am State Representative Marta Lee and I'm pleased to have all of my guests here today that are behind me, and all of them will be speaking about certain <coughs> within the state of Ohio and how it affects them or how it affects their position. And when we talk about suicide, I know, even when I talk about it, people feel uncomfortable. And I think what we need to do is, we need to talk about it, talk about the facts, what does it mean, so people don't feel uncomfortable, and they do reach out for assistance. And what is suicide? Suicide is a preventable public health problem, and it is a leading cause of death in the United States. And I believe that more investment in suicide prevention, education, <coughs> and research will prevent untimely deaths of thousands of Americans every year. And on the screen, you will see behind me some facts about suicide. It is broken down by Ohio and also by the United States. In 2013, suicide was the second leading cause of death from ages 15 to 24. <coughs> it is currently the third leading cause of death for ages 10 to 24. And unfortunately, that is higher than the national average in both cases. On average, one person dies by suicide every six hours in the state of Ohio. That is, twice as many people die by suicide than by homicide. Twice as many people die by suicide than homicide. In 2012, there were 1,533 suicides. <coughs> there were 495 homicides. And what do you hear about in the papers about the homicides? In the United States, an attempted suicide takes place every 29 seconds. That is 1.1 million a year. A suicide is completed every 13.7 minutes. That is an equivalent of 38,000 lives lost every year. Each year, suicide costs 36 billion, that is with a B, billion dollars in lost wages and work productivity. More than one billion years of life are lost annually. And if you weren't aware, 20% of all suicides include veterans. That is approximately 18 a day veterans that we are losing. And Marines and the Army have the highest rates. So what I'd like to talk about now is what have we done for the state of Ohio and what has become law. The first law was House Bill 543 and that was in a couple general assemblies ago. And that was called the Jason Platt Act in honor of Joseph Anielski. And what that does is that makes online training available to schools in the state of Ohio for teachers, for administrators, anybody that would like to take the training, including the parents. If you don't have technology to do the online training, there are organizations, including the Jason Foundation, that will send you paperwork. If that is not your style and you want a live body, they will also send people there to give you the training. So whatever your culture is, that is what they will do to make you feel comfortable and to understand what it takes to be aware of suicide and also to prevent it. Ohio is the 11th state to enact the Jason Flat Act. And after 
um, the news conference, we will also be sending out a press release, and with that, we'll also include a video from the Rascal Flats country group about being a friend called B1. The next bill is House Bill 149. That was done in the 130th General Assembly, and that designated September 10th as Ohio Suicide Prevention Day. And that corresponds to the Worldwide Day and also the National Day. And basically, it is bringing awareness to preventable, preventable public health problem. And really, there's just five easy steps, I guess, just to break it down, because some people just don't want to um, talk about it or avoid talking about it. Learn the signs of someone that is suicidal or you think that something isn't right. That's number one. Number two, join whatever organization you feel comfortable with to understand suicide prevention. Thirdly, spread the word. Also educate others. And fourthly, support a friend. If you see someone that is struggling in silence, reach out and help them. And when you learn about these other items and the signs, that'll give you the education and the materials you need that you can have a candid conversation with them. And lastly, <coughs> reach out to someone who you think is struggling. Another law that just passed was House Bill 28. That was into this General Assembly. And that has state institutions of higher education shall have a suicide prevention program. What that means is we are requiring them to have five elements in their suicide prevention program. All of these elements are available free to them. First is a crisis intervention access, which includes information about national, state, and local suicide prevention hotlines. Next is having mental health access available. That will be availability of local mental health clinics, student health services, and counseling services. Thirdly is a multimedia application access. Basically, it's an app. An app for your iPhone, an app for your Droid, an app for your iPad, whatever people are using now and in the future. And there are several good ones out there now that you put that on your phone, you can touch a button and that'll put you in immediate access to someone. You don't even have to dial anything. Next is a student communication plan. That'll consist of reaching out to students regarding education and activities on suicide prevention. And those first four items, it will be a requirement for colleges and universities of higher education to have that on their website. The last item is a postvention plan, that if something does happen, that your staff and people at the school have a plan in place so you're just not reacting. You already have it written down and you know what to do. Something else that we did was in our budget, House Bill 64. In the main operating budget, we appropriated $2 million for suicide prevention across the state. And right now, we are going through and trying to figure out what are we missing. So I know that there is information out there now that we are looking for research. We are looking for other type of information and other areas that perhaps we haven't covered or have it addressed appropriately you know, in their entirety. So we're going through that process. But that $2 million is really for everyone in all Ohioans across the state. In addition, there was $120,000 each year given to Neomed. And Dr. Horton will be talking about that and exactly what they will um, do with that money. But I believe that we need to not only look at mental health, we need to look at the individuals that perhaps suffered concussions, and now we know that there is more and more information being drawn about thyroid health issues that are leading to depression. 
and potentially suicide. So it's not just a mental health issue, it's also a body health issue. <coughs> so we need to monitor and respond to all of our current suicide prevention initiatives and plans that are across the entire black lifespan of all Ohioans. We need to make sure that they are being fully implemented and we need to confirm that the state initiative, initiatives are funded, sustainable, and evaluated to make sure that they are working properly. We also need to research as to why suicides are occurring. What are we missing? and review other medical conditions for causes and direct links. Based on House Bill 28, the Department of Higher Education and also the Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services came up with their logo. And the logo is up on the screen. And basically it is called a lifesaver. And the website will be suicide prevention Ohio.gov. And I appreciate um, both departments um, working on that um, to come up with that logo. Another initiative that is going on and that is indirectly linked to suicide prevention is something called the Safer Schools Ohio. We also have a link that will be included in the press release as well. And I know that Chancellor Carey will be going, going over that. Something else that was just dropped last week, there were several bills. I dropped um, 10 bills um, last week. And basically I was trying to think of how else 